Hello and welcome to Hey Team TV. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, give us a like, ring that bell, leave a comment below. So today's jobs is going to put a turner on and we're going to go turning. But first we're going to do some stuff out in the cow yard, we're going to clean up, clean out and we've got to cut a cow's, cow's horn off. So those are the jobs to do today before we get turning because as you can see the day really hasn't woke up yet and the grass is just laying on the ground doing well absolutely sod all. There's bound to be a heavy dew on it so we get these little odd jobs done first and then we will get the turner on then well go turning spread that grass about Go on. they haven't yet but they would have done soon um so that's done didn't film this being done because i had to peg all these back um keep these back down the far end when we had the gate open because i really did not fancy running after a load of calves today then do a bit of bedding up and then we're done i think as you can see the sun is out all right i just got back from my delivery i'll be stuck in traffic surprise surprise with everything going on down here and the man of the hour. Hi, Ads. You all right? You all right? Uh, you got the Toro going. Yeah. If any of you haven't ever seen this before, this is our oversized lawnmower for when we used to do rugby pitches, which we sort of used. Well, we haven't used for a while, have we? Probably about 18 months, two years. 18 months? Not really. So you just got all this going. Yeah, I am. What was the problem? No, I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> what, you put a jump pack on it, it works? A few electrical issues. A few electrical issues? But I can't honestly say what I did to make it go in. <laughs> but it, it went, so... So you take it? Wing it, mate. Well done, mate. That's what I do, I'll wing everything, mate. <laughs> so, the Toro is going again, but there is a large possibility the Toro is going, going, isn't it? Yeah. So this, this, thing, this thing's going. So you've got it up and breathing. How long it lasts, I have no idea. Mm. Alright, I am going to go prep for my next job because I think I've got to cut off the cow's horn, haven't I? I think so, yeah. So, go trim the cow's horn back. Hacksaw, as brutal as that might sound for anyone that isn't in agriculture, but honestly, it is for the best of the animal. I'm gonna leave that here while we crush. Best place for it. Now, open all the gates of Adam's race so it is ready to go and I've just realised someone's taken a bloody gate down. That's better. Gate's hung up. Oh tether's off out. I think Adam's about to pass in the next 
don't know. I'd like to say two seconds, but it could be 30 seconds on vid. I can hear him, if that helps. Dog can hear him. And... Voila! There he goes! So, six fields, two tethers, can probably take about, I don't know, 45 minutes. The amount of acres they got to do. They'll be back in a minute. Probably be back before I finish this. Anyway, I'm going to get a cow in. and this is my first day turning this was cut yesterday and to be fair considering that we're, it is overcast and it was overcast yesterday it's actually not as green as i would have expected it to be it's actually turning more than i thought because at the end of the day i mean look at that i mean really it's doing nothing the grass is just sat here but i've got to say it the spread pattern on the turner is unbelievable the way it just flicks it out don't get wrong that's a bit you know you're gonna see it you know you're gonna see the, the greenery purely because it was only cut yesterday and we have no sunshine sunshine literally we're having spells of it so it all helps just keep keep airing it up keep turning it will turn it'll be good enough for what we want it for right then let's get this show on the road isn't it reg reg yeah reg knows back at the farm Already managed to turn one field because it's all gone tits up again. So, little problem with the turner. That there should be all along here. Now, what this does is, I think, no, correct me if I'm wrong. Right, so there we go. This is a good one. So it's on some bolts, uh, some washers and some spring, um, some spacers, sorry, and a spring. Now, what this actually does, Turner will come up in the air and as it goes into transport, it basically sits on the ram, clamps but for fingers, clamps onto the ram and I'm guessing it stops it from moving backwards and forwards. So as you go to unfold it, she'll stay straight and unfold. So at the moment, what she's doing, when I go to unfold because she hasn't got that side clamp on, she'll want to go that way first and then go out that way. So it was a bit of a pain little bit of damage has been done don't know how or what happened but anyway it has so give beers a phone and they are on their way down so it was a case of waiting for beers hopefully they get us back up and going order some new parts and away we go so anyway i'm stopped and uh well go for another cup of tea then i suppose until we wait for beers it's harvest for you it's harvest when you're always up against it with the weather Something always goes wrong. But anyway, enough of that. Let's wait for beers. Now, first case, once scenario, I've got to find the cow in question. So all our South Devons basically used to be straight longhorn South Devons. And in solely breeding them to be polled over the last few years, they have uh, started throwing short horns, but quite, sometimes the horn will come out and then curl back around into the head. Now, that's what we've got one of right now which I don't know if it's broken skin yet because obviously they haven't got to it, but got to find the one which horns growing back in his head is one which I've got to trim off. Well, it's not you. She's totally polled. Not you, you, or you, they're all polled. Not her. She's, the horn that you see in going into her head there is um, loose, it's like a wobbly horn. The problem is this one here. So we need to sort that out immediately. Go on. This is where having a dog, a working dog, would help me a lot. But I don't have one anymore. I've got a jack rock saw, but no clue where he is. Get on, girly. Guys, 
Come on, girly. Fortunately, they have enough practice to going down the race. Suits them rather well. Voila! Go Con! Before I start this, I get a Terramycin spray. Because then I can get it all sorted out clean and plastered up as fast as possible afterwards. And let her be on her way so she didn't get in stress. Frosty or Terramycin. It's well overgrown around here, as you can see. Unfortunately, I need to get around here with maybe some Roundup. Right, here is the problem horn. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do both. Just to trim that one off as well, because whilst I'm here. Also, something else I practice, I just do. don't know what else everyone else does. Is I will turn the hacksaw blade the other way around. So I reverse cut and I'll slide it in. So I can constantly sort of let go of it and release the hacksaw if she sort of chucks ahead but the blade will stay in on the cutting line that I want. Does that make sense? Come on, girlie. So there, there is the problem bit and there's the minging bit that's going into red. As you see, I haven't gone too deep and drawn blood. Oh, slightly out of breath. And as you can also see, the only one actually bleeding in this event, for anyone that is on the snowflake generation, is the only one wounded from this is really me, um, where I've caught my thumb. But her horn, there, it's fine. And where the indentation, which is going to the side of the head there, is just about to be sorted. But she might wince a bit because this usually stings. Lovely that was. I got absolutely covered in snot. Um, so anyone watching, okay, this stuff, just like if you put, you know, Savlon or something on a cut on yourself, it can sting a bit. So it does sting a bit um, when it goes on. But the, the thing that they dislike most is the noise when it goes because it's not a noise that they're accustomed to. So don't think that she is overly that bothered by it when it goes on. Like if I change around now she's pretty chilled out you could say she's very chilled out i'm now gonna i'm now gonna just take back the other horn just to give a little bit of a gap and then she's good to go back out and do what she wants. that noise is because she's bored and she doesn't want to be in here and she wants to be eating grass so, like if it was a stress move, it'd be a lot, lot louder. Okay, so now, here's a little bit. How nice it is. For some reason I always like the smell. Weird, aren't I? There's a little bit of a gap now between each side, which is enough of a gap that the last time she got trimmed was maybe two years ago. So it doesn't grow back that fast. Always cut the white bit at the end because that's the dead bit. Sometimes you can go a little bit deeper. The other horn, I, could, I went a bit deeper because there was a bit more white to it. But if you go too deep, obviously those in eggs, you hit a little archery that's in the horn. Not an archery that the cow's gonna bleed out so no one panic in the world of snowflakes. To the world of snowflakes, all of us in agriculture, believe it or not, usually know what we're doing. Um, but again, cow's happy, you know, you can't say that she's overly that bothered being there. Best thing in South Devon, they're so chilled out to start off with. Um, you can pretty much, 
pretty much let them get on with whatever they, you want them to and they just will like she'll gently walk out the crush wonderful she is but now now i will let her back out in the field of the rest where she'll be happy as larry come on girly with your designer designer blue hair she is a part of the snowflake generation with her blue hair her blue streak as the modern thing is to have multiple colors and do all, all sorts of weird stuff i can't really talk i used to bleach my hair and be bleach blonde weird in it phases anyway she's now going out to be a fashion diva right diva yeah but now at least she doesn't have her horn growing into her own head so anyone that think animals should be sort of just out in the wild anything this can happen in even you know out in the wild if you imagine a wildebeest in the serengeti for any of those in agriculture if that scenario happened to one of those well it would keep growing until it goes through the skull and kills itself believe it or not so anyway she's happy she's comfortable and now she's back out the field now for all those that are probably thinking it or going to say it yes i know you can get the cheese wire you can get like a cheese wire thing that you can work and you can work it from any angle to cut off, cut off a horn which yes it's brilliant but and i'm sure they don't cost very much but i'm afraid uh we have to do this every now and again so the trusty hacksaw works absolutely perfectly don't cost us anything we don't have to go get anything else so it's kind of what we're gonna stick with um it's all all well and good to have the right gear for every single job but you ain't no one's gonna make a fortune by having all the right gear sometimes making things do multiple jobs is far more cost effective now thank you guys for watching hope you enjoy as usual if you haven't yet done so please you hit that subscribe ring the bell i'll be most important appreciated also, if you want to find any more of us, you can find us on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and you can also find us on TikTok if you want. Other than that, I'm now going in for my shift in the dating shed, because Ty's been in through the day, and he's going home. I'm going in, so I'm taking over. But until next time, hope you've enjoyed this one. See you next one. Cheers.